Hello and welcome to Flora on Food. This is our fourth episode and this one is a request from Scott Manning. So thank you very much for watching our video, Scott. And this one is your fish curry. This one is a four out of five on the difficulty rating just because it's quite a lot of prep, a lot of chopping to do, I suppose. But you can decide how hot you want this curry. We're going to go medium because Cameraman Callum does not like too much hot, hot spice spice. And just remember, if you don't like too much spice, make sure you de-seed your chilies. And also be careful with your fingertips after you've done your chilies too. So let me talk you through the ingredients. We've got one chopped diced onion, one or two chopped up chilies with the seeds in for us, but being a bit cautious. I'm going to save a bit of that for garnish too. Coriander, I've got the leaves chopped separately to the stems. Some grated ginger, uh, I'll show you how you, I did this. So you peel it first and then grate it up. And then the fish that's going into it, I've got some shell on, uh, tiger prawns, some cod and some trout, which I'm gonna just take the skin off in a minute and show you. Other ingredients are my good old garlic paste, my van life hack, some lime, some tikka curry powder. I think I found a good one to use. We don't like too much spice, but if you find one, that you like, use that. Uh, a little bit of um, light muscovado sugar to add a little bit of depth of flavour and sweetness. Some ground cumin, some more chilli flakes, salt pepper, spinach and coconut milk. So first task, let's get that pan nice and hot. I'm going to put a little bit of vegetable oil into it. getting that pan nice and hot so we're ready to fry off our onions into it. While the pan's getting hot, I'm just gonna remove the skin off our trout fillet. So insert your knife. And then hold on to the skin and then you wanna just slice along, trying to keep the knife as flat. It really does help if it's a really sharp knife. So there we go. Uh, I'm just gonna cut this piece into two. So it cooks quicker, but I don't want it to flake off too much. So that's that ready. And I'm going to do the same with the cod. Might cut it into three. So into the pot first, nice and warm pan. We're going to put our onions. And we're going to sweat them off. Not too much colour, because we don't want too much caramelisation. Just enough. That's just going to take a few minutes first up. So this is the stage where we want our onions, translucent with not much colour. And now we're going to add the rest of the kind of like semi-dry ingredients. Right then, so in goes our chilli. I'm going to save a little bit for garnish at the end. Ginger. It was about a thumb sized piece of grated ginger. Uh, coriander stalks, in they go. Looks like chive, but it's definitely coriander stalks. They take a bit more cooking and they have a different flavour to the leaves. Big squeeze of our garlic paste. And a little bit extra chilli from the chilli milk. Not going to add too much though. Add a big pinch of salt because salt will bring all of the flavours out of the onions and everything that's kind of like sweating down in there. Big pinch of salt. It smells off it already. Really nice. I'm going to leave that for just a minute to get really hot and then it's time for the curry powder the sugar and the extra cumin. Just going to give that a little bit just to release all the flavours and all the natural oils out the ginger and the chilli. So next up we're going to roast off our curry powder. So that goes in. I'm putting about three tablespoons in there. I'm going to go too heavy. About one tablespoon of ground cumin. 
maybe dessert spoon actually. Not too much. Really nice savoury flavour to that. So you want the oil that's left in the pan to mingle with the dry dry powders and that will cook out so that will release a lot more flavour than just adding um, the stock or the water or the whatever liquid you're adding now if it's chopped tomatoes it'll, um, it'll just be a bit more of a powdery taste and in goes the sugar again that was about a tablespoon And as we're just stirring this, that's going to start caramelising. It's going to be a nice sweet curry with a bit of spice and a bit of fire. Just giving that another minute. The onions have gone all lovely and brown. Next up, coconut milk. Bog standard coconut milk. Make sure it doesn't go everywhere when you move that big part of cocoa butter. And this is what's going to be the basis of our sauce coconut milk. going to get that to a steady simmer and once it gets there we're going to drop our fish into that and let it steam and poach we're going to put the lid on as well so that's just going to take a few minutes to get to temperature so next step I'm just going to add a bit more salt and pepper to it of salt then we're just going to drop the fish in they should all cook in the same amount of time all these different fish coriander in a big squeeze of lime Bit of a fusion this one, a bit of Indian and Thai in it, but the flavours are going to complement each other. So I'm now going to put the lid on and let it steam and I'm also going to put some rice on to serve with it too. So our fish curry has been simmering for about 10 to 15 minutes. You don't want to overcook your fish but to check it's cooked, lift one of your pieces of fish out and if it starts to flake off easily that means it's cooked so it's just that was the cod let's check the trout yeah lovely the prawns have gone all pink we're ready to plate up i'm serving it with some wild rice and i think that's going to look really nice too on the plate so here we go just going to drain off the rice So there you have it, spicy fish curry, ala van life. There was a small chance at the end of the video I forgot to add the spinach, but it was ready, it was ready to go. If you just add that just before you serve it up, it'll wilt nicely. Remember it wilts down quite a lot, so add plenty. Thanks again for watching, join us again next time. Uh, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at VW underscore Flora and like and subscribe if you like the video. The sun's come out just for the end. Thank you, goodbye.